I think Jews had a little more belief in me than I had in myself. So I'm, I'm really excited that she's joining me here. In a way, that makes things come full circle because she was there in the audience when I won Britain's Got Talent. I can't not give everything. I, I cannot walk away from that stage still having something left to give. I'm really happy to have got through to the final. And so now I have to step up to the plate as a winner. about this performance. I, I, I loved it. I mean, I'm not an opera fan. I am a Paul Potts fan. I, I love what you do. You couldn't have done any more to make it any better. It was perfection. Mel B. I mean, you stand there and you deliver such a stellar, killer performance, and then you just go, yeah, that's what I did. Nailed it. <laughs> like it's just nothing. I feel so honored and so lucky to be sitting in the best seat in the house. I can't praise you anymore. That's it. It's amazing. You're amazing. Simon, were you moved tonight? More than moved. The underdog who was written off by the music business won the first season of Britain's Got Talent and you got the career you wanted. That is why you are on the final of Champions because you are a champion. I have a feeling you have a really good chance of winning tonight after that. It was brilliant. Now, Paul, I understand you have someone very special you'd like to dedicate your performance to tonight. There is America's Got Talent winner that isn't here tonight. Neely Boyd. Yeah. Like me, he came on as an underdog. He gave his all. He won. And one thing you can never take away is the fact that he is a champion. Here, here. He is a winner. Let's hear it one more time for Paul Pop. Yeah. Coming up. What just happened? 